most people when they're taught about sentences are taught about simple sentences, compound sentences and complex sentences. Clauses, basically. That there are main clauses, subordinate clauses and Santa clauses. <laughs> The next way to vary your sentences, of course, is to vary the length from the very smallest sentences all the way up to the longest sentences. It's not about writing long sentences. Writing long sentences doesn't make you a genius. But I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. The key is variety. To have some small sentences and some long sentences. Imagine it's like a, a wonderful piece of music that you're writing that has kind of long bits, you know. Da -na 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 and then some short bits. Bam, bam, bam! Na 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 Bam bam bam! The one word sentence. So, go! Oh, next grab it. Go! Think! Oh! Change! One word sentences work incredibly well in threes. So, for example, let's say you're writing a piece of writing where you say, you start off with an interrogative. Wouldn't you like to change? No. Don't you think our planet is worth looking after? I might even follow with another one. Don't you think our planet is worth looking after? Don't you think we should all do everything in our power to ensure that the Earth is protected for future generations? And then I might throw in a, 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 um, an imperative. Change the way you see the world today. Then I throw in this little trick. Go, think, change. Three simple one-word sentences. creates a really interesting broken rhythm. Um, once you've had one word sentences, the next sort of size up is a simple sentence. So, the man ran. That's a simple sentence. It's one simple piece of information. The man ran, uh, the child cried, um, the car drove down the street, I ate a large sandwich. One simple piece of information. That's a simple sentence. And to make that more complicated, you can make it into a compound sentence. And if you do science, you'll know that um, compound is two things together. So basically, a compound sentence is just two of these joined together with a linking word like and, but, or so, or a semicolon. So for example, the man ran could be linked with um, and, uh, but, so, and however or others. And I would basically say, the man ran and uh, the group chased him. I could say, the man ran but it was too late to get away. I could put, the man ran uh, so he could escape. I could put, the man ran however the group were faster than him. Oops, running out of space, running out of space there. And you'll see that these sentences make sense on their own. The group uh, chased him, it was too late to get away, he could escape, and the group were faster than him, are all sentences that make sense on their own. They're all simple sentences, uh, main clauses I should say, joined with linking words. That is a compound sentence. Complex sentences, as the name suggests, are a bit more complex, but we'll have a quick go at those. Since complex sentences are complex, they're a little bit evil. So a great way to remember an evil sentence is to remember something evil. Let me give you an example. The man ran um, a witch. Which, spelt 
W-H-I-C-H, not which, W-I-T-C-H. Which is a subordinating conjunction, which you need to be able to link main clauses with subordinate clauses. it forces you to use a complex sentence. The man ran which was pointless. Now this is a complex sentence because only one part of the sentence makes sense on its own. The man ran makes sense on its own. The word which is our linking word and the phrase was pointless. Imagine someone knocks at the door. You open the door and they go. Was pointless. Makes no sense. It is not a main clause. It is a subordinate clause because it does not make sense on its own. Whoa, where'd it go? Now, you don't want to allow your sentences to run on too long because I've shown you that you can link clauses by using and, but you don't want your writing to go, the man ran down the street and people followed him and then he went into a building and then they followed him and then he ran up the stairs which, was, which were blocked, but then he got, you know, they just go on too long. Keep them simple. Um, two clauses are fine, but you can if you want to make them a bit more complicated and add a third clause. One way of doing it is to use a compound complex sentence. So the man ran, which was pointless, is a complex sentence because you've got the man ran, which makes sense on its own, a linking word, subordinating linking word like which, which is a great one to remember, just remember which. Um, was pointless is a subordinate clause. But I can, if I want to, knock the full stop off that and put another linking word like since and then put it was too late to get away. Now, it was too late to get away is a sentence on its own. It was too late to get away it makes perfect sense on its own. So, like the man ran, it's a main clause. The word since, therefore, is the linking word. So, what I've got is I've got the man ran, which was pointless, since it was too late to get away. I've got two clauses and a subord two main clauses and a subordinate clause. Have a play around with it. Really, the only way to get better is to practice. Mm -hmm.